Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, hi, my name is Madison and I post college related videos specifically based around nursing since I am in nursing school and I start my last semester of nursing school in August and I'm so excited. It seems so like surreal and I just can't wait. So as you can tell by the title above, we are doing how I make my study guides video and kind of like an updated how I study. I did one like way back, like I think last year and um, at that point I was only a semester in and if you guys are new or you um, forgot or didn't know I had to retake my med surge one class so I took it in fall of 2019 and I didn't pass so I passed my fundamentals and my farm one but I didn't pass my med surge one so I had to retake it and I was able to retake it last summer so it's just crazy to think that this time last summer I was retaking one of my first semester classes and then in the fall I passed all semester two in the spring I passed all semester three and now here we are starting semester four in just a couple months. I wanted to say that if I started making study guides the way I did now or like the just my study techniques, if they were different then, I know for sure I would have passed. But it is so hard trying to get into like what works because it like nursing school is so different from any other classes, your pre-nursing classes, the prereqs, everything like that, it's so different. So it really is just trial and error trying to figure out what works best for you. Now this is what works best for me. This has been working awesome and I really just wanted to share this with you guys. I know a lot of you have been interested because I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do a video, I'm gonna do a video and we were finally doing the video. So in here, um, I just have all of my study guides that I've made since my second semester. Like there's like as you can see so many and there are a couple articles in there too that like I didn't make obviously but um yeah so what I'm gonna do at the end of this video it may be a couple minutes long like I'm gonna flip through every page of my notes so you guys can see it because I love seeing people's notes I just I love it I'm so like weird but it just makes me really happy so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like walk you guys through the whole process of how I do it and everything like that so what I do is I open up the PowerPoint for that section, that week. I like to title the Word document, like week five, for example, like week five OB, um, antepartum, something like that. So where it has the class name and the week and also like the name of the section that I am working on. What I like to do is I like to adjust the margins and I just click up here and I do all of this on Word as you guys can see and I like to adjust the margins so I can get as much as I can onto the page. I just copy and paste every single slide from my PowerPoint and I put it into my Word document and I like to pick a color for each section um i used to do it like different colors for each section of med surge but for ob i kind of just each week i stuck to the same color and i do any color but red and so what red is is red is specifically what they say in lecture so say i have all the powerpoint is copy and pasted on to my word document okay and i'm gonna do this in purple it's all on there and then Monday comes around and it's time for lecture, whether that be a pre-recorded lecture, an in-person lecture, a Zoom lecture, and I'm going to take red and anything in red is exactly what the teacher says word for word. I literally try to get it word for word. It is nice when it is pre-recorded so you can listen and a lot of stuff has, you know, sometimes is pre-recorded now because of, you know, stuff being online. But I try to get as much as I can word for word what the teacher says and Sometimes I will italicize it or bold it. And most of the time, if I wanna highlight stuff, I will do that once I print it. Also love to include pictures. Pictures help so much. And that can be from either Pinterest. I love Pinterest. It is amazing for finding little like pictures or mnemonics that help. Um, I will leave my Pinterest down below. I've saved so many like different things on there for um, nursing. And I love to insert pictures from there. Also, if there are important pictures from like charts in the book and stuff, I'll take a picture or scan it like on my phone through the notes app. And this helps so much because it gives it more of like a clear, precise picture. I love color. I love pictures. It makes me more interested in wanting to do it. So instead of just having like black writing all throughout, no pictures, no color, I like to have more color and brightness and pictures because it makes it more interesting and I tend to remember those pictures more when it is time to like sit down and take the test I'm like oh yeah I remember that like diagram or that picture or that like 
multi-system chart stuff like that it helps so much and then another thing that i love to do that i'll normally put at like the end of my study guide so for example say we're learning about diabetes and they share a video for us to watch most of the time they're just a youtube link i will go and watch that youtube video and i will take notes on that youtube video this is just kind of the end of my notes that are wrapping up on diabetes and i have a type 1 diabetes video and then here i have the, like the exact link so if i want to open it up on my laptop i can click the link and it'll take me to it if I want to rewatch it. But the nice thing about this is I literally have word for word what they mentioned in the video. Okay. And I do this in black ink instead of like a color. We have more notes. And then here I have type 2 diabetes video. Once again, the link. So it helps because say you are on the go, which a lot of times I know we are as nursing students, if you're also a mom or working it is so nice to just have your like study guide little packet all together um and just be able to read it so you're not trying to oh my gosh find the link or if you're not you don't have headphones and you don't want to watch the video everything is literally typed out in your study guide and it helps so much okay so something else that my one of my professors recommended was doing kind of like a concept map for studying and I want to show you guys this. I definitely do it if I have time. So this is just like an example of one. Um, she just um, gave us like she just wrote like a little diagram like a blank one and uploaded it to canvas and I printed it and then I just filled in kind of what I knew. And so I like to do this at the end of my studying session like the night before the exam to really see like how much do I know about it? So it's literally like a brain dump of everything and it's kind of nice because it kind of guides you and there's like the anatomy physiology of it, the cause, the signs and symptoms, the treatment, um, the diagnosis here, whatever, nursing considerations. And then here I just have more like brain dump notes on the back here. What was this? Oh, this was type one diabetes here. I have type two, again, just more stuff. And then here I just have a little bit of gestational diabetes, uh, cellulitis here, brain dump, and then I have some stuff on neuropathy. It just helps to kind of write things out. Sometimes it does take a while. So if I don't have time, I'm not super stressed about it, but it helps so much just brain dumping. And I am so sorry, my neighbor started cutting his grass. I feel like every time I've been trying to film, someone starts doing lawn work, but it is that time of year where everyone's doing lawn work. But anyway, I'm sorry about that. For farm, the, so this is like for med surge, any classes, and I know like farm is a little bit different because farm is a lot of memorization and then applying it, but you really do have to know the medications. And I finished, I had um, three semesters of farm. So my first, second, and third semester, I had a farm and all of it. So I just wrapped up my farm. Thank God. Um, in March, I finished it. And so something that helped me so much, I actually ended up getting, I believe, an 88 or 89% in Farm 3, which is so awesome. I was so proud of myself. Something that helped so much is I re-listened to her lectures over and over and over again. Instead of listening to music, I would listen to her lectures if I couldn't fall asleep at night instead of watching murder documentaries, which are so intriguing, Netflix, YouTube, I would pop on, like lay in my bed and pop on my lecture and listen to it over and over and over and over and over again. And then what I would do is sometimes I would write it out on my dry erase board. But what I thought really helped me was I would just type, just open a blank Word document and I would just type anything that I knew about the meds. So normally, like say you have like 25 meds you're getting tested on, I would type all the meds out that I remember and then just type, you know, the therapeutic class, the pharmacological class, the side effects, the, you know, nursing considerations, um, what you should do like before giving the medication, like what you should check, what you should do after, what is the teaching that you want to teach your patient, you know, what is it actually like doing in the body? So what is the method of action, stuff like that. And I would just brain dump everything anything I could remember I would type it and then what I didn't remember I would go back and like type it in red you know so anything in like black cool we got it we knew it and it was nice because sometimes say I wrote out the you know the side effects and I forget like one or two I type it in red and then when I would go back and study it the next day or something I'd be like oh yeah I remember that I missed that because I had it typed in red if that makes sense but that's what helped me again dry erase boards are awesome and the nice thing too about having word documents is you can like open it through the files app on your phone 
and all of your stuff is on there and if you don't have your papers with you you can still like if you're waiting for food or something go through the study guide on your phone and I'll do this at night too if I can't sleep instead of having like the light on or my papers with me I will literally just kind of read through my study guides on my phone or you can pop on over to the Quizlet app and flashcards you can go through practice questions, anything like that. And then also I get questions about the printer that I have. So I have the HP DeskJet and I got this on Amazon. I'll try to find it and leave the link below. It works really good. So the one thing about it too is that it doesn't print double-sided and if you are printing with color or like pictures, you know, it kind of prints a little bit slow. So if you're printing mass amounts, maybe it's not the best printer for you, but it was like really affordable and I was so excited when I bought it. I've had it for over a year now. It's and awesome but the thing is you manually I manually flip it when I print my papers so like for example say I have 20 pages that I need to print in my study guide um, when I go and like print it I'll do like odd numbers first so I'll do like page one three five seven nine blah 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 and then they'll print out and then I flip them and then I'll go okay now I want to print page two four six eight blah 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 if that makes sense um, and it helps a lot and I like my stuff front and back. So when I sit down and study, like I'll have like, you know, my freshly printed study guide. So I have all my notes in there and sometimes I won't say word for word. I won't exactly type word for word or there's stuff I'll be like, oh yeah, like I'll just write that in pen. Next to it, I'll highlight anything like that. And I really like to use like super bright highlighters for like really important stuff. And then I'll use my more kind of, I'll use more of like my pastel colors, like my light pretty colors. And then I'll use like neon bright, hi like actual highlighter colors for stuff that's super important. I'll mark it, star it. And um, yeah, I literally just write anything. I don't really have like a color coding system yet. Maybe I will fourth semester. But this is literally what works for me and I will read it over and over again until I know it front and back. I mean, sometimes I might run out of time and I don't know it that well compared to other times, but this has worked so well for me. And you just have all your information in one place. If there, like I said, if there's important pictures or charts or notes from the book, I will literally add it into my study guide as well. And then also I literally almost forgot this, but something that helps me so much is registered nurse RN. And I was very, I've always been hesitant to like kind of pull information from other things that's not in lecture. But when you're learning about like a disease process, like for example, like Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, like there's not much variation. Like it is what it is. Like that's the disease process. She is amazing. I'm sure if you guys are in nursing school or going to be in nursing school, you've heard about her, but I really encourage you to check out her videos. She literally helped me so much. If I would have gone to her videos and checked her out for a semester again I think I would have passed and her videos are just so awesome I definitely recommend speaking out your notes it helps so much I pretend that I'm teaching a class if you have someone in your family that would not mind to listen to you like sometimes I'll study with my mom and I'm like literally I don't care what you do if you're cleaning folding clothes but if you could just like listen to me talk and if you have any questions and my little brother Xander somebody asked how he is doing he's doing really well he's awesome because he asks so many questions and it helps me learn more too because I am like explaining it more and then I go to take the test and I'm like oh yeah Xander asked a question on this and I was able to explain it this way and it just helps so much so being able to explain it to someone even if it's your dog your cat anything like that it helps so much I would say study groups definitely do help. I definitely really got into those my second semester and my third semester. It helps a lot. It is hard, especially if you are a talker or your friends are talkers. I'm a talker. I love talking. I can talk to anyone. So it's definitely good to set boundaries. But I'm telling you, like having a study group helped me so much. Again, the boundaries is like a main, like big thing, you know, like, okay, we can chat in like 30 minutes once we get through this topic or whatever. Then you can kind of remember when you take your test, I remember us like talking about that together and we're explaining things and we all help each other out. It helps a lot. I know it's hard with COVID, but, um, you know, hopefully things get a little bit better soon and yeah, study groups definitely help a lot. And then lastly, if you have a question, email your professor. Like I, if I have any questions, I will email them. They're there to help you. I want you guys to know that literally you can accomplish anything. You will make it through nursing school. You will get accepted in a nursing school. 
there are so many times that it seems like impossible or you have like this negativity around you like oh my gosh like I went to nursing school and like I failed out like it is just so hard it takes a special kind of person but you are that special kind of person and you can do it I promise you there's so many times I've doubted myself I know so many people in nursing school I don't think there's one person that I've met in nursing school who hasn't doubted their self at one point or another but you can do it you guys are gonna get through this and be amazing, amazing nurses. I do want to mention too, I do go into the book, I look at charts and stuff. Some classes I need to read a lot more than others, other times I don't. But normally what your teacher is lecturing on is important. They're not just gonna like say some random stuff, but you do learn so much that all of that can't be on an exam, you know? So you're gonna study for a lot of things that aren't on the exam, but definitely read the book as well. Um, I love the ATI books as well for practice questions and stuff like that. Those are awesome. So now I'm just going to close out this video by flipping through all of my notes for you guys to see. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave your questions in the comments down below.
and i love you guys so much i hope you are having an amazing may so far and yeah um i'll see you guys in my next video bye